Conan the Barbarian. So like growing up, I've obviously heard of Conan. Um, never, I've never in my life seen any of the movies though, but I kind of know that it was like this gigantic man, a sword uh, swinging, but that's about the extent of my knowledge. So we will be learning today, guys. This you can trust. I was trying to see where he was going with that story, but I, yeah, you can definitely trust your weapon as long as you keep it clean. But I guess in that time it was the sword, so keep it sharp. You can trust it, obviously, right? That's the only reliable thing that you can depend on. All right, guys, solid. I mean, they're saying Conan the Barbarian. I don't. Could they be literally barbarians, like for real? Or is he just like a, a savage human being? I guess we'll be able to figure out the overall time period uh, as soon as we can, um, like if they have wheels, we can kind of guess, I think at least, depending on how they're structured. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> this is where we are right here. So a kid outside fishing outside of his like small nomadic village. And out of nowhere, a group of people on horses just came. And I guess they're trying, maybe a raiding party for something. I'm sure context will come. And then there was a guy with like no shirt on in the snow. He has all types of like, like tattoos or maybe drawings, right? Just on his body um, that looked to be trying to warn him. <laughs> Guys, absolutely brutal. All right, you could have helped the man. Now you have a mother protecting her son from an absolute giant, it seems. A giant of a man. That's that sword that was being created in the beginning of the movie. Wow, just one swing removed the head. Like, why would you give up so easily, right? Like, maybe I don't understand yet, guys. I absolutely do not understand yet. I mean, I get it, you're gonna lose anyway, but go out fighting. Don't just drop your sword and turn around type of thing. Or just don't drop your sword. I'm guessing and the little kid's probably going to grow up to be Conan, most likely. Uh, and this is his villain story, right? All right, so guys, I'm definitely going to go ahead and place this probably much earlier than 1000 AD. Pretty much based off of everything that's visual now. Maybe, ooh, guys, 5,000 years before zero, let's say, right? BC? Probably, guys. Somewhere in there. Definitely five to 10,000 years. We'll go ahead and place that, guys, right? The filming location was also very nice, guys. I'm trying to actually figure out where this is, because, like, planes that are like this and then on snowy mountaintops, guys. Um, I don't know. This could at least be, like, the Iberian Peninsula. At, at the very least, guys. It can. I would say it's there and, and up. North Africa and up, most likely. All right, so he was captured as a child, and the reason they're, they're going to explain, I'm guessing, uh, for Arnold's or, or, or Conan's, basically, extreme stature, right, uh, is because he was doing this for his entire life up until here. Um, all right, no, no complaints. It, solid uh, no definition, I would say, um, or solid way to define why he's so jacked, guys. <laughs> would make sense. If all he does all day long through all seasons is this, yeah, bro. Huh? They're trading in currency, guys. Maybe I'm wrong about the dates, guys. Gladiator sports. Okay, so Conan is an absolute warrior, right? But here's the thing. So he should be attempting to escape his servitude that hopefully soon, guys, right? If you can do this, your captors most likely are frightened of you. They should be, at least. <laughs> right. Oh! 
Bro, this man's biceps Language were wild back then. Were made up. Mm. I find this scene interesting. The reason why is because um, the concept of like people with no clothes on, right, really is kind of a modern phenomenon, right? I would say probably last what five, six hundred years, guys. I mean, it, before then, clothes really didn't matter. It's not like it was. It doesn't also look really cold here, so I don't think he's trying to warm her up. I think he's just trying to cover her. Um, Maybe she feels some type of shame, potentially. But why would she feel shame? Why would he even know that she's feeling shame because of that? You get what I'm saying here? I don't know. I'm a little confused. Specifically here. I think I read this wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. He's just like admiring her beauty. You know what this is? Look, look at this beautiful specimen of a woman. That is good. <laughs> Bro, listen, listen. You're getting all of this training. You're winning all of these these battles, right? Um, I'm gonna need for you, sir, to escape this. Okay, <laughs> uh, start doing this for yourself. All right. No, you're free. Oh, he's, he's freeing him. So long, an unremembered dream was his. Okay. He stumbled upon like a burial ground of sorts, like catacombs. Well, there's a sword, some armor you can put on, sir. <laughs> so they don't show the battle, but then obviously the next scene, we see him wearing animal pelts. We know what happened. Within fire. It's like a siren or something. <laughs> I think that was probably like how people got like girls back then, bro. Like, do you want to warm yourself near my my fire? Because I'm almost positive that was like the best pickup game of like 10,000 BC. Guys, that's a wild angle just to switch to, guys. Absolutely wild angle. Because the guy who literally deleted his mother had like little snake heads on, so I'm pretty sure that he's looking for revenge here, guys. Uh, that's why he uh, responded so wildly to snakes. Okay, so definitely like a siren, a temptress. Uh, yeah, absolutely a siren in the middle of nowhere that just so happened to have fire and and a, and, a, and a warm orifice to insert himself into. Yeah, yeah, a siren. Ah. 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 <sighs> Bro, that was weird. And who says you will? <laughs> right. So what are you doing here? Dinner for wolves. <laughs> like an unlikely friendship guys this looks guys this looks a lot like Andalusia Spain guys um, or somewhere in there guys somewhere in that region of earth guys. but not this scene this scene doesn't look like it the mountains do nah bro Al Maria yeah probably Al Maria it is said that they are deceivers they murder people in the night. I know nothing. He's scared. Hey. Can you bit? Right. Who <laughs> just Guys, that was random. That was probably the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. Guys. Come, let's leave this place. It's time to go, bro. You just just literally punched a camel in the face. No reason. Okay, that's that guy <laughs> that handed uh, that other guy the sword that basically removed the head from his mother. So I'm guessing this is some type of like sacrifice. They're going to use that snake to most likely uh, sacrifice this woman uh, for something. Um, but yeah, bro, your plans are, are ruined. 
Yeah, that's probably only thing that's actually of value. Okay, so they basically just uh, consummated their union by the looks of it. Um, he gave her that stone. Uh, they then went to the bedroom, did a couple of things. Now that's over. And um, it looked like at the end there, she was like saying her goodbyes. But the, the next scene, she's still here. So are you about to drown in your soup, bro? All right, guys, where we are so far in the movie, we're about an hour in. Um, I think that there has to be previous knowledge of him and the story somewhere. Because we're an hour in, all right? And, I'm, and I still don't really understand what's happening, deeply at least, right? I know, you know, him as a kid, he lost his mother to the guy with the snakes on his head. He then became you know, a, a person that is uh, indentured to another human being. He then got super strong doing that. He then got freed after learning all of these, these you know, these, these arts. He got chased by some animals. Uh, he found like a cave that was probably a catacomb. He saw a guy, that's how he got his sword. But I feel like there has to be some, there's something that we're missing, guys. Because it's almost like they're purposely not giving enough information. Seeking the truth of her soul as if i could not give it to her i mean but that's the reason why in general people um seek out religion there's more there's much more enough to become kings yourself mm. okay see now we have a mission all right all right we're getting somewhere guys we're getting somewhere um being paid as for the most part mercenaries and now we have the team. The team has been completed. He's like, no, nah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I mean, yeah, he made his decision, guys. It would make sense because it's honestly the only thing in his life that has been a constant. He has constantly, strongly disliked anything with a snake because, again, his mother was deleted. I'm a wizard, mind you. Okay. This place is kept by powerful gods and spirits of kings. What's funny is that whenever, like, uh, you show a horse and they're doing those weird things that, that horses do with their mouths, and then you hear, like, r another random person speaking, it always, it always looks like the horse is, like, saying all the words. It's hilarious to me, guys. I would summon a demon more ferocious than all in hell. Okay. Do it. Do it right now. Warrior! What are the flowers for? For oh, girl. <laughs> okay. Is it that that girl that he just left, or of the, uh, to be honest, I think that he is too far to go back with a camel and some flowers, bro. Oh, he's trying to fit in with that cult that he saw with the flowers, guys. All right, all right. So that coming a mile away, but also at the same time, it also felt a little different, right? I think the other, I think the priest thought something else was going on, right? And Arnold had it in his mind the entire time what he was about to do. All you'll ever need. Oh, guys, this cult has gotten absolutely gigantic. Oh, wow! It just so happens that it's the guy, literally the guy, that removed the head, bro. Oh it's, oh, it's literally him. Oh, gosh. But how did he get caught? Or was it that, that green jade thing that was given? Maybe. But like gave him away or something. You killed my father. You killed my people. You took my father's sword. <laughs> yeah, you, you did that. It must have been when I was younger. <laughs> it, was, time, it, was, it was that irrelevant to him. When I searched, that is power. Okay. The strength and power of flesh. What is steel? You just delete someone for the sole purpose of making a point? A terrible point at that? Compared to the... Of course. Eat it. 
bite the neck. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting, bro. You probably listen. That animal probably has like worms and parasites on it. It's in your mouth now. I mean, yeah, it stops from chewing on your flesh, but now you have a mouthful of feathers and parasites. Oh, they're literally trying to take him. Okay. All right, guys. So definitely maybe his drawings work in this universe. Absolutely. Uh, there's, okay, so there's some type of magic going on here. All right. And like these beings that are coming from obviously some type of other universe, potentially, right? Um, are coming in to literally take this man by force to the point where they are materializing, throwing this woman around. Absolutely, right? Um, all right, guys, we're here. We're here. Let's let's continue. Nah, he doesn't care, bro. He, he's not agreeing to that, bro. He definitely wants. Uh, that dude's head. Absolutely. So, <laughs> this guy just brought like a soup with uh, a human body parts in it, right? And she just instantly goes and, and picks up a piece of meat, but it just so happens that that piece of meat is someone's hand. This man turned a snake into an arrow and then fired it into her, bro. I Honestly, what he's saying is, is that if his, like, God would not even remember him, then that means that he's meaningless to his God, I, I would say. If that was the, you, you understand what I'm saying here? Like, I mean, you, you wouldn't say that, right? You say, yes, if anyone, Krom will remember what happened today and will remember me. But instead, he's like, even you will not remember. So why are you praying to someone who won't? I don't know. That's weird, guys. That's weird. Wasn't that the sword from the beginning of the movie that was being molded, guys? Because it has kind of the like, like super similar uh, insignia. Oh, he made it. All right. Yep, that's that sword, guys. All right, so at the end, the woman that he loved, uh, the ghost came back to assist in battle. Um, we can't, This can't be over, is it? How is? Why is he still alive? <laughs> All right, I was about to say, bro, you cannot... You could not do this. <laughs> what I mean is allow all of this to happen and then not delete the baddie, the big baddie, guys. I am the wellspring from which you flow. Deletion. Without me. <laughs> my son. Deletion. Bro. Right. Are you like the ruler now? How does this work? Oh, that's wild. <laughs> just filled with rolling down the stairs. So they're just like giving up hope. Is that what's happening here? I could have swore that entire structure was stone, guys. All right, so he became a king. All right, guys, listen. So Conan the Barbarian, it started out like super slow, okay? And what I mean by that is like easily one of the slowest movies that I've like ever seen it's extremely almost to the excessive uh specifically the time of the era this movie came out this was probably too gory for many people obviously things nowadays are a lot more gory than this a lot but i think for the time it was probably wild when it came out guys uh i wasn't even alive i was born in 86 well 
late like literally late December 86 so kind of 87 um and this came out in uh, 82 here guys so I think the overall the premise of it is is really good but I definitely wish that they would have kind of given us a lot more dialogue from the main characters so to kind of fill in the blanks um for the most part coming in completely blind into this I was confused probably up until uh, the movie is uh two hours long um I was confused probably to like one hour and 45 minutes I think that this movie is definitely for someone who has followed the story and I'm, I can almost guarantee you this is probably coming it's probably came from like a book or maybe a comic or like a cartoon this this story did this is not the first time this story was told if that makes any sense right and um the directors and producers definitely expected you to know it all before seeing it. and so that's that kind of left me like what's happening because no one is talking outside looking in here guys right i understand this is probably a cult classic uh it feels like that if that makes any sense like by encountering it i can tell you there's probably hundreds of millions of people who probably call this movie the best and greatest movie that's ever been like put out to the public guys it feels like it if that makes any sense right it has definitely has classic and like iconic features also the set design was was amazing throughout i would say right i mean um from the from those catacombs to like a lot of the the temples that, that we've seen here um all of these were extremely expensive sets okay i have no no honest complaints i would just say the movie could probably been like uh an hour and 20 minutes like probably at most there's something that's used in like editing called trimming the fat. And this movie has a lot of that that can be just removed because it doesn't really help um, tell the story, guys. Uh, again, I would definitely say this movie should have been one hour and 20 minutes. Let me know in the comments if I should be checking out any more of these and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly.